A Geek is Drama with the area's most local sports. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome on into your Saturday edition of sports. Happy to have you with us. Championship Saturday is here. The defending Division Three national champion trying softball team had the chance to punch their ticket back to the big dance today, taking on Kelvin in the MIAA tournament title game. So let's get up to Angola. Thunder have to just win one game to claim the tourney crown. We start things off in the first here. Knights on top by one already, but not for long. Nope, Joe Trine gets this ball in the airstream and sneaks it over the fence. Two run homer, how about it? It's 2-1 Thunder. Later on in the frame, one on for Emma Lee. She's going to single into left. Emma Beyer comes around to score, and it's a 3-1 Trine lead after one. Stays that way the fifth. Knight's already with the run in and threatening and it's Grace Glass here. She's going to lay down the bunt. She's out at first but Emma Walker is able to slide in ahead of the throw home. Ties up the game at three apiece. Bottom six still tied up at three until Tyra Markham steps up to the dish. The freshman obliterates this ball into right for a solo homer. Her tenth on the season. Thunder go back in front and that's where they stay. Top seven Alexis Michon shuts the door, gets the strikeout to end the game and trying. Wins its third straight MIAA tourney title, 4-3 to three the final. It feels great. I mean, winning's fun, so it obviously <laughs> feels good. I feel like ultimately it came down to us all coming together and just playing our games. Because individually we all are good players, but when we come together, we're really a force. We always said the conference runs through us. Um, and this year we kind of showed both ways again that the regular season M tournament came through here and this team did a really good job of being focused for this moment. Um, you know, it's easy to look, overlook and think, you know, regionals, super regionals, whatever. Um, but they went step by step and now we're finally where we want to be all year long to fight for another chance to get back to Texas and go from there. The NCAA tourney draw will be held Monday at 11 a.m. 